Hi, I'm a 62-year-old grandma and I fixed my patio heater myself and I'm going to show you how easily um, you can fix your patio heater if it has this symptom. The pilot light starts, the flame starts up, but then it doesn't stay lit. That could be pretty commonly one of two things and it happened to be the tilt mechanism in my unit and I'll show you how to bypass that um, and still keep yourself safe. I was going to turn on the pilot wood light, but as soon as I let go, it would just go out. Very important. First, turn off the propane tightly and remove the tank. I gently laid it down kind of on its side like this for easier access. Unscrew a few wing nuts to remove the hood. Next, it's just a matter of removing four screws to pull off the screen. and. Once you get it open, you see the flame unit, and then there's a thermocouple and the igniter. And the job of the thermocouple is another safety feature that will keep the flame lit as long as the pilot light is going. Otherwise, it'll turn off the gas. But that's not what my problem was. So next, you remove this unit by removing a few more screws. You can just pull off this whole thing right here. And if I turn it around, you can see, so this little plastic black thing is the tilt switch and it has two wires coming out of it. One wire goes to the gas line and one goes to the thermocouple and in case the unit should tip over while it's on and burning this would turn off the gas. Now my unit is not going to tip over. I'm always near it when it's on and it has a heavy base so I'm going to pull these wires out and connect them together to bypass the tilt unit completely and the way I'm going to do that is to use some conductive wire to connect these two connectors and then wrap it up with electrical tape and to make sure it's nice and secure. And then tuck everything back inside and put it all back together again. And that's really all there is to it. It's just a matter of putting the whole thing back together again the same way that you took it apart. and put those three wing nuts back on there and then you're pretty much done and ready to test it. It's working. What do you know? For your safety, consider bracketing it down to the ground. Keep an eye on your heater whenever it's on. Consider replacing the broken tipping mechanism instead of bypassing it. And if it ever tips over, please turn off your propane valve right away.